Since Aristotle, the fundamental connectives in logics are and, or implies, not, true and false. The quantifiers are for all and exists. We can consider other logics with more connectives. Modal logics are based on necessity and possibility. Temporal logics are based on true from now on and will become true sooner or later. We can vary the level of statements. When considering as atoms the propositions, we have propositional logics. Considering as atoms the elements of the universe we are talking about, we have first-order logics. Considering as atoms the structures of elements in a universe, set of elements, set of sets, but possibly also algebraic group of elements, etc., we have higher-order logics. In this course, we will consider only systems based on the standard set of connectives and quantifiers, and only propositional and first-order systems. They cover most of mathematics. Another way to conceive new logics is to internalize properties, making them part of the structure of the reasoning system. For example, temporal logics internalize time. The way to interpret connectives is part of the structure of a logic. What does it mean, the negation of a formula? What does it mean, proving not A? We present logics using axioms, like equality is reflexive, or inference rules, like in the slide. A special axiom is the law of excluded middle, which says A or not A holds for every formula A. Its validity identifies what we call classical logics. We will present also a non-classical system, intuitionistic logic. That system, in a way, is the logic of computation, since it makes little sense to decide whether a program terminates on every input just observing its behavior. It is impractical, at least, to wait forever before being able to say that the program does not terminate on a given input.